So as we see there, something has changed on your stuff, but leadership, servant leadership. Um, that's the title of the presentation. And yes, G God was right. When she asked, that was my first question. Um, what is this? But like, like we've heard before, we all have to go and do some, some preparation and so on. So let's just run with it. Yesterday we heard a lot about your, and we've been hearing it for some time, your attitude determines your altitude. And we also talked about the whole thing as, for example, those in the aviation industry talk about, you know, where the nose pointing and so on. Well, today we want to change it a little. Your latitude determines your latitude. And what I want to do is to tell you what that means next. Leadership is their attitude towards leadership. So it's really just a play on the word. Alright? So your attitude determines your attitude, your leadership determines your latitude. In other words, the mindset that you bring to the process of leadership is what is going to allow you to basically determine the kind of framework within which you are going to lead and therefore the type of approach that you will take next. So, Quickly then we're going to run through a very few, uh, well, very few things. What is leadership and why is it important? I want you to be part of that. We're going to look at some leadership styles from your perspective, where do you fall in that mix? And I'm, I, I lifted a phrase yesterday, or made a statement yesterday, that I decided to lift into my presentation, <coughs> because I realized that somebody else <laughs> And actually, did that define latitude? Okay. Did that define the latitude? So as we go on, we'll see what I mean in terms of. All right? I thought you were going to tell me about the lead of leaders. Oh, you are the one. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we, we, we made a statement yesterday about, um, in our Catch a Rising Stars workshop, that we, we ought to be moving to the point where we recognize that we are not absolute leaders, right? But if we have a team of leaders, then that traditional position that we call leader would therefore make you the leader of leaders. And so what we have is a team of leadership as we go on. And then we're going to look at the whole thing of what it means to be a servant leader. So, Somebody did a presentation for me recently, and they gave us a, a document to read that was entitled, Connect, Then Lead. Connect, Then Lead. And basically, what this presentation is about is really a follow-up to the communication styles that we just had a discussion around. Because if you realize, you'll see that it's essentially it's really about also our approach to communication and our mindset. Um, you know, so there is aggressive leadership usually comes with aggressive type uh, communication. You know, um, those of us who love to sit back and just relax and watch things go, uh, yeah, you know what that I means. That's the same way we communicate. All right, so there, there are links there. Next, brethren, you say you want me to tell you when, right? So. The question, the big question there, which is better, being lovable or being strong? All right, so it depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. Because different situations cause for a different approach. I may need lovable one to get the best out of you, or I may need to be aggressive to get the best. So we always, therefore, we have to be conscious about the setting, the situation that we find ourselves in. So that I heard there both. Well, this statement is saying that most of our leaders, right, what we do, we emphasize strength. 